Hey everybody, I'm Dilla Blitz and welcome to our replay of the Allied Campaign in Panzer Corps Gold. We are up to the last episode of the first Alamein scenario and things were looking so good. Until if you recall back in the last episode, there was a massive German counterattack that took two of the objectives, wiped out two of our units, and has our forces in disarray. We're desperately trying to hang on to one of the other objectives, and there's a large German force descending upon El Alamein. Can we even rescue a victory out of this? Forget about a decisive victory, and how many more units are we going to lose? Stick around, and let's see if we can save our skins. So welcome back, everybody, and we are up against it now. I'm not sure if you recall we were in the last scenario, but we were pushing forward. Things were looking marvelous, and all of a sudden, two panzer divisions slid in behind us, creating havoc behind our back lines. We were followed by a massive German counterattack to our north and west. We lost two units. Our other units are surrounded, and things are in a mess. We've got three turns. Well, we have three turns. The Germans have two turns left in this battle and we're going to see if we can salvage some kind of a, a marginal victory and minimize our casualties thing. I think we're going to have to admit that this is probably not going to be our first decisive victory. It's just looking that grim and even pushing forward I'm afraid we would lose so many casualties trying to do it that it wouldn't be worth it. So let's take a look to reorient ourselves with the situation then we're going to see if we can start to repair things as best we can. First up here in the northeast we have this objective, this is El Alamein, this is the sole objective we need to hold in order to have a marginal victory. Now we have these German tanks that are bearing down on it from the, the southwest. We have infantry coming down from the northwest and we have more German forces over here to the west. So we, we simply have to take a bite out of these units if we're going to hope to, hope to hold El Alamein. Now, I did learn that Goose mentioned that because we've lost units, we can bring in reinforcements, and I think we can bring them in at El Alamein, so we're going to try to do that as well. Down here in the middle, we have our anti-aircraft unit that's in serious trouble. We've lost both of these middle objectives, the one being guarded by this German tank, the other down here in the hills down here. And then down to the southwest, perhaps our most dire situation, we have here Flaky 7th Armor, which is fully re... Uh, it's got a nice load of ammo, and has a really our only functional unit left. We have, well, this artillery is functional as well. We have Greeno's paratroopers down to their last round of ammunition, holding this objective, but surrounded by three German troops with a fourth waiting to attack on the next turn probably as well. And then over here to the northwest, we have our 17th armor, which is still looking for a commander that's out of ammo. So things are dire. Now, fortunately, the weather's good and we can bring our aircraft to bear on the situation. But I'm going to think for a second here. Actually, I've been thinking. Let's just get started and do stuff. Okay. So um, we have a couple of what I think are obvious moves. The first is this unit here, which is Nice Vid's 13th Commandos, is out of ammunition. They're, they're down to three and they're almost dead. So we're going to give them elite re -place, re replacements. And God, this is costing us so much of our prestige. Up in the top right, you can see we have... 2,200 prestige left, and I think we started this scenario with over 3,500. So we're burning through our stocks of prestige, which just is not good. Likewise, up here, wandering in the desert, behind German lines, we have Jock's 6th Infantry, the Engineers, and we're going to give them elite re replacements as well. They can go up to 10. That at least gets them hanging into the game here, and we don't have to worry, at least this next turn, of them getting wiped out. Now, I'd like to come down here, too, and see if we can buy some replacements. I hate to see us buy armor, and I don't think it'll work on this turn anyway, would be my guess. So we'll see how it goes. Now, I want to try to do some damage here on... We've got a couple of German units that are weaker. I'm going to kind of bounce back and forth with some of the attacks. I think we have a chance here to kill this German infantry. And because we do, we really start to need killing, need to start killing some units. This also will allow our artillery to flee on this turn, which I think is going to be helpful. My plan may be to abandon this outpost down here in the southwest. And I'm hopeful that it doesn't mean leaving Greeno's troops behind, the paratroopers in the objective. But let's see if we get lucky here with Flaky 7th Armor. We need a big attack from them. Nine, oh, minus seven. Ah, we've had so many of those where we just leave them alive. Okay, we're going to come down here and pull back and see if we can take this objective. See what's there. There is nothing there. Okay, so that puts us in good position. The question is, what do we do? I don't want to leave that infantry alive. 
Let's have this artillery see if it can take it out. Nice. Okay. Wasted that attack to a certain degree. But now our artillery can flee. Let's get it out of there. All right. So they're heading off into the desert. They're almost out of ammo anyway. Now the problem is, can we somehow get Greeno's troops and save them? What if we attack this infantry here, then flat our bombers and see if we could bring a fighter down to take out these two units, then maybe Greeno's troops can evacuate. It's worth a try, I suppose. That would also allow the 17th armor to pull back too, because they have no ammunition. So, okay, here's our plan then. We're going to have Greeno's infantry. Actually, if we can wipe out this unit, this armored unit to the northeast, they could, and this one here, we could conceivably flee. So let's see if we can get our 10th air unit to come down and finish off these German panzers in the desert. There, can finish them off. Nice, good, we wiped that unit out. That's good for us. We have this unit that's left, which is two. We have our big bombers, but I wanna save our tactical bombers to come up and do some damage up here because I think they can really put the hurt on some of these troops up here, in particular, this panzer unit right here, which would be really nice to finish off. Okay, so we're gonna try, I don't wanna bomb them, although we could wipe them out, that would be good. Could we hold this? Wait, 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 okay, so, okay, hang on one second. Let's think here. Maybe this isn't as bad as I think. Because if we could hold here, we could wipe this unit out, we could do damage, we could wipe this unit out, Maybe Gruno's, Gruno's troops could hold? I wish I didn't pull that artillery out then. Hmm. Can I undo that? No, it's too late because we already attacked with air. Okay, I'm going to think for a quick second here. All right, I feel like we need to take out of this, this tactic, these tanks here. So we're going to pull our tactical bomber back and try to do some damage here. We have to clear these panzers out behind our lines. So let's hit that. Get a seven maybe? Six. Oh, that's good. I'll leave one left again. God, so many times we've just left one fragment of that alive. Now, let's see, can Custard's Ninth Air potentially finish off this Martyr? If it could, that would be huge. Let's try it. I'm gonna fly here. Come on, Custard, get it. Oh, minus one. Ah, oh, the Dyro Gods are killing us. Okay. So, so, however, okay, the paratroopers, if Greeno's paratroopers wipe out the unit now on the that deck, then we can send this tactical bomber here at minus one. That's not going to do it. So we can't. We could get them so they could pull out and perhaps save themselves. But we can't save this tank, perhaps. Well, we're going to have to just figure something out. So, yeah, we're, we're not going to be able to hold this, I don't think. So with that in mind, let's have Greeno conserve his ammo. We can't bring in any supplies. Damn it, I need to take that unit out. <clears throat> I don't see any other way. I wanna kill it. We're gonna kill it and leave them without ammo. That may sacrifice them to the gods though. I'm gonna think about that for a second. Let's go back up over here. Okay, up here in the Northeast. Let's have Parkeris first, see if we can destroy this infantry coming down in their half tracks. Minus four again. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna pull them. Oh, I forgot that this has a range of three and it's anti-aircraft. It might be able to hit our bombers. That could be a mistake. Okay, we're gonna pull them over here. Okay, just for fun. Now, I think what we can then do is pull our artillery back here behind that and see if they can finish off the infantry. Minus two, good. Okay, so we wiped that one out. Another kill, excellent. I think what we can do here, we can move this artillery forward one. We can pull our infantry down here and maybe attack these tanks, with the artillery protecting them on the defensive end of things. That might work as well. Up here, ah, we have so many ones left, don't we? Okay, let's, can they even attack? They can't. Let's pull our anti-aircraft out and pull them back to the base here. Now, let's see if we can get some reinforcements here. We can purchase a unit. So we're gonna purchase a unit. I wanna purchase to replace our engineer infantry, put them in Bren carriers. We're gonna purchase, okay, they can go here. Let's put them right here. 
All right. Can they move? They cannot move this turn. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. But they'll be available next turn, which isn't bad. Now we have Goose's fifth recon we can do something with. We have this artillery. Let's pull them forward one. It's the only unit they can fire on. Let's have them hit these stugs. Minus one. Okay, that's a little damage. Good. And they turn red. And let's move forward with Zach's fourth recon right there. And then they should be able to do some damage on this stug unit right here. Minus two. We'll take it. Minus three. Nice. No damage to Zach. Good job, Zach. It pushes him away. Excellent. Good. Okay. Now we have Goose's recon that could come out and do even more damage on him. And we have here JJ's second armor. Now we could finish off that tank unit or we could do extreme damage to this unit. Let's, I hate to just do one damage with one of our strongest units. We're gonna hit this artillery, this um, mobile artillery. Hopefully, we need a big attack from JJ. Come on, let's get him. Minus four, Arrgh. God, we suck. Okay, we're gonna push forward though so they can't get replacements with those things. That means, we have, ah, uh, we can perhaps, oh, okay, here's a thought. We can pull forward Zach's recon and hit this panzer unit and wipe it out or wipe out the mobile artillery. Let's do that. Right here, we needed three. Let's get some luck. Minus three, excellent. Goose comes through for us. Another unit killed, good. We're starting to kind of, I feel like we're gaining a little bit of ground here. I wish we could take out this tank, but I don't see a way we can because we've moved everybody up here now, haven't we? All right. Oh, they have a second move. Let's move them here. So that will prevent them from getting a stronger reinforcements. Good. Okay. That, I like that. I'm liking that pretty well. We can get one more reinforcement down here in El Alamein to help shore up the defenses too in a moment. And we have to do what we can down here. Greeno cannot get any ammo. God, they're totally hosed. We have one tactical bomber left that could come up here. Minus three, minus four, minus six, minus one, minus three. It could bomb the ones they're on at minus six, which would be helpful because I think they're going to attack next turn. That might be powerful. Or we could come up here and hit the... We don't want to hit the anti-air. That would be a mistake. Minus three on that, minus four... Kind of recycling through things here. Let's see if we can save. Let's hit this infantry. The tank. The infantry is going to attack the town, isn't it? Let's have it hit here. Minus six. Okay, as predicted. That's not bad. Then they can fly back over here and get some ammo. That's not too bad. We could wipe this unit out here. That's not bad. They run out of ammo, though. Let's wipe this one out. And they're going to face... Uh, two attack... I think they might be able to hang on. Minus one. Good. A kill for Greeno's paratroopers. They're out of ammo, unfortunately. Oh! But they can flee! Let's do it. Let's save them. They broke out. Let's send them... Down... I don't see anything that can really hit us. These infantry all have to walk. So, let's go here. All right. Then we can get some ammunition and supply. One round of ammo for our 17th armor down here. That, I think, brings us to the end, right? We've hit everything we can. And we've moved everything we can, I believe. Let me just check that, then I'll be right back. Yeah, I think we're done with this turn. That was, I'm, I'm cautiously happy with that. I think we, we had a bunch of kills. We've certainly shaved an edge off this attack into El Alamein. We did quite a bit of damage down here. I think we punched out two units, three units down here. This is actually looking like we're not... I mean, yeah. I mean, we, we had to retreat, yeah. But maybe we won't lose so many more units. Could we conceivably turn this around? Because if we can wipe this... Ah, let's see what happens. Okay, big turn here. End turn. Go to the next turn. Let's see what happens. Artillery hits our infantry up north. Okay. They attack Zach's... Uh, they attack uh, Goose's recon. Our, our, oh, nice! Our artillery defends. Artillery defends. Takes it down to a six. Nice. They attack Zach's re 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 um, engineers in the desert. Not, not a problem. Here they come again. Zach taking a beating here, but we're, he's holding them up. 
Nice. Oh, more. Don't die, Jack. I just won down to four. Oh, he's put on some a good show here, though. All right. Oh, okay, they attacked our artillery. One to one. We lost three. They lost one. They're out of ammo again. They captured that objective. Oof. That's painful. The anti-air hits our bomber. Ah, 17th armor's taking a beating, too. Oof. Heavy beating on that 17th armor. Wow, they're going after El Alamein. Oh, we ambushed them and wiped them out. Nice. Our new replacements. Oh, I forgot to bring replacements in back there. Ah, that was stupid. Okay, we could have had another infantry unit there. That was huge. An ambush to wipe out that armor coming in on El Alamein. We've held El Alamein. Nice. Okay, we have to hold this turn and one more turn to get the marginal victory. Conceivably, to get the, the decisive victory, we'd have to come back and take this last objective down in the southwest, down here, where these four units are, and we don't have anything left to attack with. I just don't see how we get that unless we throw this armor at them but well, okay we're gonna think for a second then we'll come back all righty let's sort out a little bit out here I, I have a rough plan the rough plan is we're gonna try to make sure we defend El Alamein that's our first priority second plan is gonna be try to knock out this panzer unit here that's in the second objective try to take off this air unit as well so that will allow us to grab the second objective third plan is to come down here with a bomber and hit this unit down in the, the second optional objective, then have Flaky's armor hit it. See if we can wipe that out, take that third objective this turn. That would give us three objectives at the end of this turn, and one more turn to maybe make a, a crazy last dash to try to get this last objective and get a decisive victory. That's the plan. Let's see if we can pull it out. Okay, first up, I'm going to pull this artillery back here to get it out of the way of this unit up here, and then can our infantry? It can but I don't want them, I wanna undo that. Can we undo that? We should be able to undo it, right? I can't, ah, oh, darn it, okay. Okay, I could still fire, but I, ah, oh, bummer. Okay, can I push, I can push them over there. What I, what I don't wanna do is leave that space open. Okay, so here we're gonna do. We will uh, push this infantry unit can they, oh, can we, we can bring this one here, Zach's Recon up there. Okay, yeah, let's do that. That's fine. Good, and that, we're just going to have them defend. We're going to have this artillery defend the attacks on them there. Then this unit, how much ammo does it have left? It has seven shots left, plenty of shots. So let's save that in case we need to pick something off. Now, down here, it looks like we're going to get casualties if Goose's Recon hits this Panzer, but it'll get us the objective. I think it's worth it. Let's do that. Minus one. Nice. Another kill for Goose. That opens it up. And let's have him move in there. Excellent. So we have recaptured that objective. Perfect. Now, let's see if we can dent this anti-aircraft unit because it's such a pain. Minus seven. This is JJ's second armor. armor. Minus six. Okay. No damage to JJ. It's probably going to push it. Doesn't push it back. Okay. And he's almost out of ammo too. Hmm. Okay. That gives us some decisions here. What to do with... This will actually work. We can do this. Let's pull Parkera's first armor down here and try to finish this unit off. I think they can hold against this infantry. I think we can hold here with this artillery support. So let's do that. Come on, get the kill here, Parkera. Minus four. Nice. Parkera comes through. Suffers no damage. Another casualty. Excellent. Good. We can now... I should have, no, I didn't want to make, would that make sense anyway? I was thinking I could move them up to take that strong point, but it doesn't matter because they've been there half tracks and they would get butchered. Down here, I'm going to leave the anti-air, I'm just going to pull them back out of here actually. Get them out of the way because I don't want to lose them and I don't want to spend on reinforcements this late in the scenario for them. Okay, so the question is, what do we do with our new engineers here? Let's have them come up to right I don't see anything down here that we have to worry about. Let's pull them up here to help defend El Alamein. Let's buy another unit. We're gonna replace our heavy weapons infantry that we lost. We'll put some Bren carriers we're gonna purchase and we'll put them right here. Good, so now we've got a nice defensive ring. It's not the most organized ring, but we've kind of got El Alamein defended for worst case. I think these units are gonna come down here as well. 
Can we get Zach's recon out of there? Can we move them? We can't. We can move them. Interesting. We get Zach's recon out of there. We can move our, our armor up in front of him. I'd like to try to save Zach's recon. Can we get him reinforcements? We can't. We can't go there. That's death. Go there. They're probably going to hit us. I think that's our best move, though. We attack first. Nope. Nope, nope, nothing good there. That's our best move. We have to hopefully can flee and get him. And then can we get this tank unit up on top to protect them? Let's try that. Then we can shift. We cannot shift these to infantry now. We could move them forward one square, though, which would maybe help against this unit here. Let's do that, okay? Now, I wonder, though... Okay, now our next step. Let's go down here. We have two bombers left to do some damage, too. So that's not bad. Let's bring, we have one that's strong, minus four, and we have one that's weak, minus two. That's the one that's weak. This is a big attack. So let's bring this 11th tactical air down here and hit this one and see if we can do damage. Minus four, okay, we'll take it. That's good. Now, do we dare, should we use the artillery to weaken it more? What are the chances? Minus six to one. Let's give ourselves a little bit more of an advantage and pound it with artillery. Any damage? Uh, it weakened it a little bit. Six to zero. We need this attack, Flaky. It's all on you. Yes! Flaky deals it. Nice! We're going to move in and take that objective. One round of ammo left. No ammo left in our artillery. Let's get them out of the way. Pull them back here. That's fine. Greeno's paratroopers standing in the desert with no ammunition. Grateful to be alive after having a valiantly tried to hold that third outpost. Let us give them elite replacements with ammo. They are back in action. Excellent. Now we have one tactical bomber and we have, oh, we have our 17th armor is completely out of ammo and almost beat up. I think what we have to do really is have them just, can we give them replacements? Oh, plus two. Interesting. I wonder if they can hang on with five. Plus two, minus... Oh, that's interesting. We're going to give them regular replacements. Plus two, we give them some ammo. How much ammo would they get? One ammo, but we only need one ammo. Let's do it. All right, so they're back in action at half strength. We have two fighters and a bomber. Where should we use them? I'm going to think for a second. Okay, here's one shot. Down here, our 10th air looks like they might be able to kill this German, take out this German infantry. Let's do it. Need some luck here. Minus three, minus one. Ugh. It's not good. Could have used that. That would have really opened up a chance to do to take some do some damage down here. Let's take our tactical bomber and hit these tanks because they're going to be a tough nut to crack. But we want to see if we can pound them for sure. Okay, here we go. Minus one. Really? Ugh. Just when we needed a big attack. And we have the last unit left we can use is this fighter unit. What do we do with it? Can we kill anything? It hit that. It's almost on bingo fuel, so it would have to go back. Let's... Minus one, minus two. That's a lot of firepower coming down here. Could hit that artillery. Uh, I feel like we should try to do something down here, though, to give us a little bit better chance to get this town and maybe have this unit survive. Hmm. Mobile artillery is going to be tough here, too. Let's try to... What to do? Let's punch this mobile artillery. Let's see what we can do with it. Minus two. Good work, Custard. Did a little bit of damage. Excellent. I think that is everything. We've resupplied them. We've moved them. We've resupplied them. We've abandoned there. Just brought those in. Oh, right here. We have one move. We can give them some... No, we can't give them reinforcements. Why not? They haven't attacked yet. Do we want them to attack? Nope. Odds are really bad there. Do we want to move them? Nope. We're going to leave them there. Okay, we're good. They've moved. They've moved. Everything's done its duty. All right. Let's go to the last German attack. Fingers crossed. Some units have moved yet? Yeah. Oh, they hit our artillery. Minus three. Okay. Oh, Zax! Oh, no, Jock's infantry is wiped out. Damn it. Oof, I'm going to have to 
Who is that up there? AI's playing. They're going hard to El Alamein. They're bundled up. Okay, they attacked our armor down there. Damage, they're flying through the desert. They're going after it too, no damage. And they're flying through the desert. They're going forward, but they didn't attack. Interesting. Allies, turn 17 out of 17. New equipment types available for purchase. Right now, in the middle of the battle? That's kind of crazy. Okie, okie dokie. This is interesting. I wonder if a unit without ammunition can capture an objective. Because we hold this one, we hold this one. The Germans have no turns left. We've held El Alamein. We've held these three objectives. If we can somehow knock this tank unit out and get in there, we'll have won. Can Greenos paratroopers can't get there because they're blocked by these units. But we can... What is their move? What's the movement of a Bren carrier? But this armored unit could get there if we can wipe out this tank unit. And we have our tactical bomber right on it to start out. So that's an obvious first move. Can they get there? They cannot get there. It's up to... It's up to our, our unit with no ammunition. If they can... If we can wipe this out with air... I don't think we can do it, right? All right, well, let's, let's start it out here, because this is, this is really all that's left to do. So the first one is to hit it with this tactical bomber right on the tank unit. We need a big attack here. They've got a strength of eight left. Oh, let's hit them. Minus two. We need it better. Okay, let's send them back to base. No point in, in hanging around. So they're at six. Now we have our good tactical bomber we can bring down here. They're going to do four. Okay, let's try it. It's the best we can do. Minus five! So interesting! Because now they are a one. Oh, we just need one damage. But we have to wipe. We have to find a way to get Greeno's troops there. Okay, okay. Well, we have fighters right here, right? Oh, they're out of gas. God, so we gotta... Okay, we can have them hit that. And then go back. We're not. We're certainly not gonna lose our fighter unit to try to, to get the decisive victory. That wouldn't make any sense. So they gotta get fuel. Where's our other fighter? We have one more around here somewhere. Right here. Okay, so we, if we can get... Do they need to get this one? Minus one. We should hit the truck. That's gonna be easier. Then Greeno would have to go one, two, three, four, attack that, and the tank can move in. Okay, so we gotta wipe this unit out right here. Okay, we need a big attack by our 10th air. Minus two, not what we were hoping for. But we have flaky seventh armor. It says minus seven. We need an eight. We don't have anything else. Oh, wait, 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 don't tell me. Can this one get there? It might be able to get there if it can move twice, right? So can Goose's recon move, move again and then attack? Is that how that works? I forget. Okay, well, first, let's see what we can do with Flaky's armor here. Because they have a movement of five, so they can't get to attack there anyway. So this is our best move with them. Okay, right here. Minus six. Okay, is it pushing back? It does. That might be the opening we need. No. We need to get one more push. How do we do it? Oh, we... The fighter, it wouldn't matter. We... I don't think we can do it. But what if we had JJ's armor come down here and hit this, push this out of the way, then let's try it. JJ's armor come down here. If we can wipe him out. Minus seven. Nope. But pushes him out of the way. Zach's recon could come here. And then they can move again and attack? Is that how that works? Uh, I don't see a way we can get it. That armor can't reach. We have to do it with what's here. We just need to knock that one last thing out. And to do that, we have to get Greeno's troops past this truck. So let's see what happens if we do this. If we go here, then can they move again? They have to attack now, don't they? Darn it. 
Yeah, we just ran, we just fell short. We, one unit, all we needed to do is knock that last tank out and we could have gotten there. I don't see anything else. We can't get anything else done. We've used all our air units up. And the recon unit's done. We might be able to do a little bit more damage here with some things. So let's just take out some, just fire at units for fun here. Because this is our last chance. Yeah, just do some damage here. Because it's pretty much over now, right? We, 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 we've, ooh, we might be able to get them to surrender. But it doesn't look like it. I should hit them once more. We could do some serious damage on these. Actually, we, I think, just to be safe, I'm going to come down here and hit this motorcycle troop. Minus eight. Now we get the good attack. Said minus four, and we wiped them out. Good job, Parkera. We could have used it a little bit earlier, though. But, you know, they've attacked. They've done their stuff. I think we are all good. There's nothing we can do. Darn it. So close on the decisive victory. Well, we gave it a good shot. I think this is the end of turn now, the end of the war. Well, let's, let's wrap it up right here, I think, huh? End turn should give us victory, I think. Some units have moved yet. Yep. Victory. Ah, <sighs> so close. Okay, let's proceed. A solid success and great enough to force Rommel onto the defensive. Now time can begin to work to our advantage. Every day that passes from this point increases our strength. Well, there the you have it. Is about to begin. Oh, stop this. And pause. And build up I'll, I'll read through that. Okay. Well, it goes right into the next one here, too. Um, we're going to pause here, obviously, and save it there. But that brings us to the end of the first Alamein. By far our biggest challenge. I'm happy we hung on to a victory. It's a bummer we didn't get our first. We got a marginal victory instead of a decisive victory. So we call it as kind of a draw. We are, I think, what, 10 0 and 1 now? So, not too bad. Now, the question is, we have um, we have three mulligans in the course of the whole campaign, which means that we could redo this one and try for a decisive victory, but I'm inclined to keep going because I'm looking now, it looks like they've given us 5,000 prestige here, so we have a lot of prestige. We still had about 2,000 left. We came out with the victory. I think it's time to press on to the next scenario. So, we'll be back, I think, hopefully sometime next week with the next scenario. I'm going to try to try to produce these a little bit faster so that we can kind of make some more progress in this. As always, thanks if you've tuned in and enjoyed it. Um, if you have thoughts, comments, and stuff, uh, let us know. We did also lose a moment of silence for Jock's engineers that get wiped out in the desert. That's our first named commander that we've lost. So we'll have to bring back Jock Jr. And for our next battle. So we'll, we'll replace him for the next battle. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, as always, Likes are appreciated, and if you're new, please consider subscribing. We'll see you in our next episode.